In this video tutorial, we are going to design the coupling base. So the units are given in inches. First, we have to change the units to inches. Press OK and create the sketch. And we have to select this top plane to draw the base sketch. And simply, we are going to expand the create and select the slot tool and center to center slot, overall slot. There are different types of the slots. I am going to use the center to center slot. So this is the center, this is the center and a slot. We have like that. The next I am going to add a constraint, midpoint constraint. Select this line and this origin point. Add a midpoint constraint. Select OK to deactivate the midpoint tool. Select the sketch dimension tool. Give the radius to this arc this radius is 0 0.5 and then define the distance between these two center this center and this center select this reference line and define the dimension 2.5 and this is the first sketch now we needed to offset this sketch so select the offset tool and select this sketch and here these arrows we can drag it like that and this dimension we have 0 0.5 like that so now we have to finish the sketching the sketching is done and click here on the home and extrude this sketch and select this inner area under the profile select this inner area and this arrow we can drag it to add the material and here under the distance we have to define the distance so it's 0 0.5 the thickness so we have the this is the base feature now again create the sketch and we have to select this face or we can also select this face so this face is good so select this face to draw a sketch on this face and then select the rectangle so define draw the rectangle this will be the first point and this lower edge will be the second point a rectangle like that and then again sketch dimension and we have to define the dimensions so this edge we have the dimension of 1.25 and this must be in the middle so we have to define a half dimension so 1.25 divided by 2 finish this sketch and now again extrude and select this face and this direction we want it in the other side so drag this in the other side and so that it can cut the material so operation must be cut and under the distance we have to under the extent type we have to change the to all so it will make the cut through all of the material press ok now we created this cut now again create this sketch and this time i am going to select this face so select this face draw the sketch select the line tool and the first point will be on this edge then this will be the second point and we can do that in different ways so i am going to do it like that then again another line like that uh, then again line and just close this sketch now we have to define the dimensions so between this these two lines we have the dimension of 1.25 and this height this we have 0 0.5 okay and now we have to make sure this must be in the middle so select this region and this and define a dimension 1.25 divided by 2 like that in this dimension we can make it like that just drag it here so everything must be arranged then we have to select the center diameter circle and we have to draw a circle and make sure this circle must be in the midpoint of this line we can either draw a circle like that 
and then define the midpoint so select this line this point and this line so this circle is in the middle and then we have to select the tangent tool select this circle and this line so it's already defined so make sure all the constraints are defined next select the trim tool then we have to trim this portion this portion like that and again make it front if you rotate the model select the front and again draw circle so the center must be coincident with this point like that and define the diameter of this circle is 0.5 finish the sketching and now we have the sketch like that then click the extrude and here under the profile we have to select all of these profiles so we have the preview preview like that and then we can drag this in the other direction so we have to define the depth of this material it's negative 0.5 like that so this is the coupling base thank you so much for watching this video